Hey everybody, I'm Ted from Tabex. In today's video, we're going to run through the onboarding setup. If you just created a new project, you need to run through the onboarding setup and then submit your store for a review. From our dashboard, we get this message, continue onboarding. We can also find it here on the left. Let's click on continue setup and then let's just start with configuring a product delivery. Regardless of the store type, you're first going to install some sort of Tabex plugin on the game server or platform. And then we're going to use that plugin to connect the game server to Tabex. So let's click on configure. In this case, we get two different options. Let's select the first one, installing the game plugin. Download the Tabex plugin for your Rust server. For me, it says Rust server because my Tabex project type is Rust. For example, Minecraft Java, you have multiple options depending on what kind of modding or plugin platform you are running. But as you can see, regardless of your platform type, we will always offer you the relevant options. So going back to our Rust example, we're going to download the Oxide plugin, and then we're going to place that plugin inside of our Oxide plugin folder. For me, this is actually Carbon and then Plugins folder. And as you can see here, we have that Tabex plugin. We can then copy and paste the following command inside of the server console. And as you can see, it's now setting up our secret key and it successfully set our secret key for our store. We can also go in game and do Tabex info to double check that there are no errors in game. Since we successfully made the connection, I'm going to click on continue and we now have our game server. We can now use this game server inside of our packages. And I'm pretty sure this is the next step in the setup. We can see our progression went up to 17%. Let's go to continue setup. We finished one out of six, so we need five more. Let's continue with creating a package. Get items into your store so customers can start buying them. We just created our game server. We now need to create a package that uses that game server. This way we can actually deliver something to a player once a package is claimed or purchased. Let's go to packages. This way we automatically start creating a package. You can also go to packages from your dashboard and then in the top right, click on create a package. I'm going to keep this part fairly simple. If you need more information, you can always check our documentation. Take a look at our YouTube channel. We already have many different tutorials going way more in depth into these topics. We first have the basic information, things like the name, description, and also what category this package belongs to. And we can also set a image for this package. Of course, this information really depends on what you're offering. In this example, I will do some sort of VIP ranking. I will just call this a gold rank. The description is both really important and can be fairly difficult to write. On one hand, it needs to be informative because the customer needs to know exactly what they are getting when they claim or purchase this package. But you also want to make sure that it's easy to read and the customer doesn't just skip over it. I simply wrote out what the customer is going to get if they get this package. I chose these because they are all quality of life updates. I then simply went to ChatGPT, asked it for me to write a description for a Tabex package, and it gave me this. Enhance your Rust experience with exclusive non-pay-to-win benefits. Purchase this package for the following perks. Giving you a cleaner look, more information, because people might not be familiar with these plugins, and also giving you a nice sentence to end on instead of just listing what is in there. So I'm just going to copy this, take this to my description and then paste that over here. We could add many more things, formatting, bold text, images, of course, and we highly recommend doing this. You want to make the description as informative as possible. What you shouldn't do is just ask the AI to write you something, copy and paste it and hope for the best. Give it something to actually work with, otherwise you will probably get terrible results and maybe not even make it through the store review. For our example, I'm happy with this description. We can select what category we want this package to be under. We only have one category. Let's also select a image. For now, I'm going to select this Tabex shield. Let's then continue to the next section, starting with the pricing. So here we can set our price. We can choose what kind of payment it is. This can be a one-time purchase. This can be a reoccurring subscription, or this can be both. Taking a look at our demo store, you can see here when someone is browsing the store, they can see right away what kind of purchase this is. These two are subscriptions, but the first one also has a one-time purchase option. So that can be set over here. And then lastly, for pricing, we can also remove the package from the customer after a specific time frame. Let's say we configure this for one month. We can then run a second command after one month, for example, removing the gold rank. As you can see, we have many more options and categories we could configure. Of course, there's documentation for everything, 
but we also have many tutorials already on the YouTube channel going way more in depth into these specific topics. For now, we're just going to set the price and then continue to the actual deliverables. Here we can configure what the customer will receive upon purchasing this package by selecting a deliverable. Depending on your Tabex store type, you will get different kinds of deliverables. And yes, you can add multiple deliverables on one package. So you could run a command and also a Discord action in the same package, or of course, even more. For now, let's just focus on game server commands. And then over here, we can select that game server that we just created. If you have multiple game servers, you can select multiple as well. So for example, a command to add a specific player to a specific group. In this case, the gold VIP group. You can add more commands. As I said earlier, you could even add more deliverables. Once you've added all the deliverables that you want, you can then create your package. We are now on our packages page. From here, we can also add more packages or create more categories. You can also edit this category, for example, if you want to rename it, but there are also some settings that you can set for this specific category. Let's continue our setup. We now done two out of six and we are at 33%. Next up, let's provide a store description. We're going to add content to the pages of our web store to give customers details about what you are selling. So let's go to our pages. You can see we currently only have one page. We have an about page. We can add more custom pages if we want to. But for now, let's just look at the page that we already have. This is active. Let's click on edit. So here we can see the page title. We can also see the page slug. So in this case, this is about. We have the page content. So here we can add our own about to give your customers more information about what your store is about. Since this is really subjective, I'm going to leave this default for now. But you could do the same thing as earlier with ChatGPT, giving it a minimal input and asking it to give you a improved version. Make sure you proofread everything and then that way you can update your page content. You also have three options down here to disable the page, to only show it to logged in users or to not even add this menu item to the page. And then if you have all your settings updated, you can click on update. And then when we go back to our setup, you can see that this is now also completed. Next up, let's confirm our customer support contact. This is of course important. So your customers have the right email address to get in touch with you. So let's go to our checkout settings. You can see this under settings on the left. And at the top, we have the customer support email. As it says here, customers need to be able to contact you in case there are any issues with payments, follow-up, support, questions, suggestions, things like that. It's not just a one-off purchase and then never be available. There should be some sort of support available alongside your packages. Starting with the proper support email is actually, as you can see, a required step. Maybe even things like a Discord where people can create a ticket or help each other is another great step to help improve that support or setting up this support email address is step one. So I'm going to confirm that this is the proper email address. Then we should be able to continue the setup. Now we are at 67%. Let's set up our wallet. All the funds from the different payment methods will funnel into your wallet. From there, you can then initiate a withdrawal either to PayPal, bank transfer or wire transfer. Let's click on go to wallet. From here, we can then click on set up my wallet. Again, it tells me, do you want to log in? So let's click on login. And then here we can double check that we are on the proper project. It's going to give me my name, my email address again, double check that everything is correct. And then we can link the wallet to the store. Now our wallet is set up and we are actually ready to receive funds. More information on your wallet, how things work, what settling is, how to make a withdrawal, things like that. Again, check the video description for more information. If you just set everything up, go to your settings, double check your information. You can see your full name, date of birth, your address, and you can also find your wallet reference over here. If any of the information is incorrect, please contact customer support. So now that our wallet is set up, let's go back to our dashboard. We are at 83%. Lastly, we just need to complete our ID verification. That's the last step that we need to do before we are able to submit our store for review. So let's click on get started. It says we need to confirm your identity to protect your account and comply with financial regulations. The process itself will be pretty quick and it gives you information on how to run through this process more smoothly. You can click on more info, but the link will also be in the description. So the two things that we need to do is take a selfie. And we also need to provide a picture of your identification, something like a passport or driver's license. So then let's click on begin. As you can see, this will start the verification process. Now I'm not going to run through this process on camera. These steps should not take more than a few minutes. And that is the last step of running through your setup. Once you've run through your setup, 
you are now ready to submit your store for a review. You went through the store review, everything is live, and then you can really start offering your packages. Hopefully this was helpful, showing you the process where possible. If you have any questions or things are unclear, feel free to leave a comment down below. And as always, thank you for watching and good luck with your Tabex store.